Uh, would you do uh, another hundred dollars for the rest of it? Yeah, that, that doesn't seem like enough though, does it? Bloggy flips. Good morning, everybody. So I just had to stop and get some gas. So I figured I'd do something that I don't normally take the time to do, and that's film a little intro so I don't have to put a bunch of words on the screen to try to explain explain what I got going on. So uh, this morning, I'm going about two or three towns over. Uh, it's about half hour, 45 minutes or so. And I'm going to what's described as like uh, a community garage sale. It's inside a parks department. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna be set up like a flea market, but something that I've been doing a lot lately is if I'm going kind of a long distance to hit a sale, I like to uh, change my search location on Facebook Marketplace to the zip code of where I'm going and see if there's any like cool deals that I can try to snag while I'm while I'm in that area just in case I can't find anything at the sale. That why that why that way it's not a big waste of time uh, making the drive. So last night I was doing just that. I found someone that had uh, listed like five separate things like 11 hours prior. Um, and honestly, all five things look good to me, like some vintage comic books and some various things like that. So before I went to bed, I, I uh, sent a message and said, hey, tomorrow morning I'll be in your area from like 8 to 10 a.m. Um, I'd be interested in buying all five things. I think everything added up came out to like 360, so I offered 250 cash. Just because without being able to see like conditions and everything, I felt like that was pretty fair. So I woke up this morning to a message that said, hey, that sounds great. When you're in the area, go ahead and text my husband. Here's his number. So uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go check out this little community garage sale. Hopefully find something there, but if not, we have a backup plan. So uh, like always, um, if we do en end up buying some stuff, I'll show you everything when we get home. All right, let's go. Okay, how much do you have on your box of figures here? Oh, 45, okay. Um, I will sell them individually, they are brand new. Uh -huh. For some reason, my son got them all literally in August for his birthday. Right. And he's probably played with like two of them. So he went through and he did keep five. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll do the box of them. Oh my god, that's gonna be awesome. I have like five people sitting here staring at it. Oh really? I'm like, oh my gosh. No, those things are expensive, some of them. <laughs> no, I'm happy to buy. What did I have on it? Uh, it says 45 for the box. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, sure, if you don't mind. That way. Still walk around a little bit. Okay. Thank you awesome. so much. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. I have two of your 50 cent ones there. All right, thanks, man. Oh, yeah, you're fine. It's a tent, in case you need a tent. <laughs> right on. <laughs> How much do you have on, uh, on that box of helmets right there? Um, let's see. How about $3? Sure. And it's got some football players in there, too, I guess. That'll work. It's got random stuff, too, like a shirt oh, that's cool. necklace. I mean, do you want that stuff taken out? or? Oh, no, no. Okay, I'm not sure there. what all's down in there. There's a dart, you know. I'll look through it later for that price. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, so we just left that little community sale. Uh, like I thought, kind of looks, kind of set up like a flea market. Uh, found a few things, probably could have could have dug a lot harder with all the booze in there, but I'm pretty happy with the few things I found. Um, should, should, should do okay, it's just nothing exciting. But I just texted the fella about the uh, comics and stuff. Um, and he said he was home, come on by. Gave me his address, it's only like two miles from here, which is 
pretty awesome. Uh, but he did mention that he has some other stuff that he hasn't listed yet. So, uh, of course, now I'm very excited. So, uh, we're going to go pick up this stuff and uh, possibly look through some more stuff and hopefully make a deal. We'll see. But, of course, I'm going to take you along with me. So, let's go. Yeah. No problem. Come on in. I'm sorry. I didn't turn the lights on. There we go. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah, th this is uh, the stuff that you was uh, interested in. I, okay. Uh, there's uh, all the Star Wars figures and nice. then the, the the three rings. They're, they're all. If you wanted to open it up and see a little closer, because they're Tom, They're all Tom Mix. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, one's supposed to be a magnet ring. I don't think the magnet works oh, anymore. Okay. But the, and, <laughs> it's really neat. And then the and then his the decoder, decoder thing, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that is neat. And um, I, I was just throwing these two in with with it. Oh, cool! As an extra, it's a. I don't know what that's from. If it's from a cigar or yeah, something. Yeah, it kind of looks like a cigar, doesn't it? But the, this is one of his. Uh, oh, nice. Pocket knives from that's the awesome. radio show. That's really cool. And then this is from 1974, before the movie and yeah. stuff. So I, I think neat. it was a fan right. thing. So very neat. I, I was throwing that in there for the. I appreciate small, that. Thank smaller you. Items. <laughs> appreciate that. Now, now this, I don't know if it works or not. I, I didn't. Yeah, it seems like half the time they do, half the time they don't. Yeah, I, I, I just mainly want it because of the look. Yeah, they're cool <laughs> enough to take the gamble. You know. <laughs> oh, and, and and this doesn't have the thermos, but I, I do have the little miniature oh, cool. version of it. <laughs> Very neat. You know, just stuck it in there. Yeah. But, awesome. But it, it's it's in better shape than I know it's got a little around it. The it's edges. not bad though. The picture looks good. Yeah, and the, and that has a little bit of everything all the right way around it. Definitely go on the shelf. Yeah, and and oh, I got the. I think these are the bags and boards that go with these. Okay. I could be wrong, but I, I took most of them out except this one. Mm -hmm. the, these are the ones that are hot, I right. guess. Right. The, this is the first appearance of the. The person that will be the black Batman in right. the future, and then this is his the first appearance of the guy's dad, Lucius Fox. Right, Lucius. And then John Cena is going to be in this TV show. Yeah, and then that's the reprint, but that's the original, right? Yeah, this is a uh, this is what I used to read when I was a kid. The if it said modern comics, right. that that was the ones I got at the toy store. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so yeah, that's all. Okay. For you. And then, Here, I'll pay you for that real quick. And okay. We'll Let's see. Yeah, that way to keep it separate. 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. Right. And there's 50. I appreciate that. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, there's a, another stack here I, oh, I cool. had separated. I, it, I mean, I I got them here and, here and there. And yeah. I like these old horror comics. Yeah, the, the the vampire one was a little disappointing, but <laughs> it, it's fine. Awesome. I mean, I ha I have another copy of the Superman comic book there. That's me only one get rid of that. Right on. A complete mini series of the the Iceman. Oh there. really? Um, Very cool. Of course, this is more comic. These are a little more pricey, but I got I got two autograph um, wrestlers. He's my favorite wrestler of all time because, like, that's my first guy I seen when I was <laughs> watching in a little Tarzan Digest, and and then uh, the, these are uh, more more vintage, I guess. Right. You know, like, yeah. And that this is the bags and boards that go with cool. those, I think. Like, oh, Tim of Dracula, that's neat. This one. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I, I I get the trade paperback. So if I get the trade paperback, I, unless there's something that's like from childhood memory, right. I, I'll keep. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Then I, I got. Oh, the, neat. That, that this this one has. I mean, it, it's really good on this side, uh -huh. but this side, when I got it, it ha has a couple little hole marks in it. But it's kind of a, a neat little. Yeah. Thing from the it's from the '60s when his popularity was big. Sure, I, I wish it was in the '70s. <laughs> <laughs> Love the guy, and then then I got that. I put that in the frame. Oh wow! 
I, I was always a big fan, you know. And yeah, then, sure. And then a couple Spider-Man, but I, but this is just mainly just kind of like I said, miscellaneous toys. There, there's a oh yeah, there's the the soup Superman heart. Supposedly okay. that's the complete set, except it doesn't have the stickers. Okay. It's just the it's set. all the cards. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure it might be a little mixed up. And this one's still got the candy bag in it. Oh, neat. Don't eat the candy. No, it's <laughs> not really good. Yeah, and then I got uh, the Presto Magic. Uh, th this one's not been opened. I'm, yeah, for, yeah, that one hasn't been opened. This one's been opened. Very cool. been used. And then this was just an extra thing that you get like three comic books. Sure. And then you, you open it up and just you the card got back. Uh, you know, extra little cards. Just Never cut. Very out. neat. And then, um, oh, he it, man, he's my favorite. Th this is the looks like the oldest one that's in there. I, I, everything else is pretty, you know, like this is an, another one that's old, but yeah, that's the oldest ones that's in this box. Everything Same else is just kind of miscellaneous okay. type stuff. And is this all stuff that you want to get rid of then? Yeah, and, and uh, I got two boxes of superhero figures, I, I kept them separate because, like, this is the Spider Man box, okay. And then this is just a bunch of um, oh wow superhero very neat things you know just all kinds of big little uh, th this is only reproduction Mego that I have in here this is <laughs> very cool though a friend friend of mine actually gave me that and I was <laughs> like I I like it but, sure but it wasn't like the original one had a bigger belly <laughs> he, he, he's a little th he got he lost some weight. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was played with by my sister, so I I actually grabbed that from her. When, yeah, when she was younger. That's funny. Yeah, some some oh, of them are in really like... really good shape. I mean, sure you know, they're, they're, I, you know, some of them are really, really good shape. But the... no, I love this kind of stuff, man. Yeah, I, but yeah, there's a few that's just kind of you know. Okay. Not, I didn't really count how many is in that box. There's, there's just a bunch of stuff. Oh, I didn't know. Did you in the coins or? I don't know a lot about them. Okay. Um, um, well, I got like the like copper coins and mm -hmm. just you know miscellaneous coins. And I got a few graded ones. I mean, it, yeah. I'm not wanting very much for them. I mean. I've had them just because you know they're pretty. Sure. <laughs> but the the, co the copper coins, um, thirty some ounces of copper. Here. Oh well. Wow. Because some of them are the five of them are, are this one here, where it's the Hercules. It's five ounces. That's. Oh, that's crazy. I got yeah, you know, I got five of those, and then a bunch of the one ounce ones too. This is old bonds, I guess, or mm -hmm. or stocks or whatever you call them. <laughs> I I I like artwork, so I, I really like the artwork on the Indian yeah. there. That's my favorite one, and the oil yeah, thing is just very obvious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all very cool too. And then, and I got I got one graded um, oh, dollar bill, but but the I have a book of of one dollars, and there's a few two dollar bills at the bottom. There, there we go. Nineteen twenty eight. Yeah, I like it all. Actually, this is the last of the things I'm gonna put on there for a long time. Okay. I think. Yeah, I think so. All right, what are you thinking? Um. Uh. uh would you do a uh, another hundred dollars for the rest of it? Yeah, that that doesn't seem like enough though, does it? No, it's plenty. Okay, let's do 150. How about that? You sure? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know what this stuff is worth, but I was thinking you were going to say more than 100, so. Well, I just, I need the space because <laughs> I'm too much of a hoarder. <laughs> yeah, I just, I've done really good since I've gotten married, though. Yeah. My wife, she, it she, tends to help, doesn't it? She, 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 she uh, got me to move a lot of stuff out. And I feel stupid because I really did give stuff away, you yeah. know. But I got friends, too. They, they, they're always like, hey, you want one? <laughs> No, no, I'm excited to learn about this stuff. All right. 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. Awesome. Well, thank you, man. Well, thank you. And then if you do get any more stuff in that you want to get rid of, just 
uh, send me a text or something. Okay. Because I'm always buying. Yeah, I just, uh, like this was kind of the last of the toys. and the, I've, I've been through my action figures a hundred times. Yeah. And I and for some reason, every time I go through, I'm like, why am I keeping that one? And <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah. Do you do eBay and stuff or just buy on eBay? I just buy. I, I tried to sell 20 years ago mm -hmm. and had two bad experiences. Yeah. Uh, I sell Jimmy Olsen comic books and right. You know, I, I sold them. I think I, I it was a bid item, and so the guy got them super cheap. Right. And he still complained and gave me a low rating. I was like, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Like, what the heck? I sent. You know, he could look at the pictures and see if they was you know right. mid to low grade. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what he's expecting. Yeah, the in-person stuff is definitely a lot easier because there's no coming back on you. It's just, yeah, you know, Yeah, and there, there's a bags and boards okay. for, we'll take all for some of the more expensive stuff. Right I don't on. have bags and boards for the... Oh, that's, it's okay. I think I have some at home even. Okay. I'll probably just make a couple trips here so I can... Oh, that's fine. I wasn't expecting yeah. to buy this much, so I got to rearrange a little Thanks. bit. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I had it sitting up there like a moron, and I was like, oh, "That's fine." I was like, let me get rid of that. Like, yeah, I do. Thanks so much, buddy. Take care. Hey, thank you. All right, everyone. So we finally made it back to the garage, and that went way better than I could have even imagined. That was a really neat collection to be able to pick up, and I'm so glad that I uh, kind of seized that opportunity and was able to walk away with it. It's definitely not an easy money deal, but it's but it's a fun money deal, and I think that there's plenty of profit to be had. Not to mention lots of knowledge to gain for the future. So normally I try to put comps up for almost everything I buy. Uh, it's not going to be entirely possible this time just because there's there's so much. I've not even been through everything yet. Um, there's so many factors involved like condition. But I'll try to pop up some comps here and there just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, but like I said, very excited about this. So uh, real quick, let me just try to go through some of the stuff I picked up. So at that first community sale thing, honestly, not too much I'm excited about. I picked up all these uh, Halo figures just because I've done well with Halo figures in the past. Um, some of these smaller ones, I've sold similar ones in the, like uh, in the package for between like 70 and 100 bucks a piece. And there were quite a few of them in here. So I figured even loose, there was probably some money to be made. I paid 45 bucks for all of them. And whereas that might seem kind of steep, I I think it'll be okay. Not not the greatest deal ever. Picked up a few Pokemon cards because they were so cheap. Uh, and honestly, I kind of regretted not buying all of them until I got them home and realized that the card I was excited about, this uh, Charizard EX, um, pretty sure it's fake along with this other Charizard. The colors are, are just way off on these things, I think. I could be wrong. I'm not an expert, but I've been buying a lot of Pokemon cards lately and, and they just seem a bit off to me. And then I paid three bucks for this box of helmets and football figures um sometimes these little miniature helmets do well depending on the age and the brand and stuff so for three bucks i took a shot and i have no idea what they'll be worth and that brings us to the bigger deal this is the stuff right here that i actually went there to buy this is the stuff that was listed on facebook that i offered 250 bucks for and honestly that could have been a little rich um not being able to see the condition but i figured that the stuff was cool enough that i would i would enjoy looking through it before i sold it off so i was willing to take that gamble but now looking through all of it, I really feel like 250 was completely fair. There's this box of Star Wars toys. We're not talking like 70 Star Wars toys. Most of these are from like the mid 90s through the early 2000s. So not huge value probably in most of these, but there are quite a few. I think there's probably like 30 or 35 little figures in there, plus a couple of the vehicles. So that's pretty cool. And then we got this Super Friends lunchbox. No thermos, but the graphics are very cool on it. Not the best condition in the world, but I've definitely seen worse. Realistically, I think this could probably be valued somewhere around 40 to 50 bucks. And that's without the thermos. And then we have this talking Batman and Robin alarm clock here. Uh, these are just really cool. Not sure if this one works yet. I, I've not tried to put batteries in it. For parts, these still sell for 20 bucks or so. Working, they can go from like 50 to 100. Um, usually more with the box. This doesn't have a box, obviously, but... If nothing else, it makes a really cool display piece. Very nostalgic. And then we have these Tom Mix prizes. Uh, Tom Mix, I think, was a radio personality probably back in the 1940s, I would guess. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Here is like a decoder pin that you would put your ring on to try to decode the messages that I guess he would give over the radio show. Kind of reminds me of the A Christmas Story Little Orphan Annie decoder. Uh, where you're supposed to drink your Ovaltine. Ovaltine? But then there's also a few rings here, and then that's like a whistle ring. So just really cool prizes that you would have gotten back in the day, like in, I don't know, like a cereal box or something. I'm not sure. And then he threw in a few things too, which are actually really cool, like this Flash Gordon pinback button here. 
Um, I saw these on Worth Point, and they tend to sell for about 20 bucks a piece. So very cool on that. And then also this uh, Tom Mix Ralston Straight Shooters Pocket Knife. This particular knife looks like it sells for, for between like 50 and 80 bucks. So definitely very cool. This one's in very nice shape with just a little bit of wear on its blade right there, but no cracks or anything like that. So that was a that was a really nice gift right there. And then there were some very cool comics. Um, again, this is where condition comes in. So it's hard to really put up comps, but I'll try to throw some up so you can kind of compare. But these are in decent condition. I wouldn't say that any, like any of these would grade nines or tens, but overall they're pretty clean. I'm probably going to invest in a scanner because I have lots of cards to sell too. And I, I think a scanner would work better on something like this as far as taking photos. So, but these are like the hot comics right here where uh, there's movies coming out pretty soon. So like the values are spiking on these particular issues, like this Peacemaker, this is a reprint. If this was the original, this would this would sell for quite a bit of money. This is the first issue of the Peacemaker. Uh, like I said, that that's a reprint, but this is the second issue and that's actually the original right there. So that one's pretty cool. Not the best of shape, but that 12 cents means it's old. And then we have these Batman comics. Um, again, characters that are going to appear in the next Batman movie, I believe, like Tim Fox and uh, Lucius Fox. So we have issue number 307 and is issue number 313. I believe it's 313 that has probably the most value right now. So I'll try to throw some comps up for that. Graded high. I, I know it's gone for quite a bit of money recently. Looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And then I'll throw some comps up for 307 as well. And then the last part of that original buy were all these uh, Batman and Detective Comics and Teen Titan Comics. Um, all different types of years, but most of them are pretty old. Some of these obviously have more value than others, but it's going to be hard to really, really talk about each one right now just because there's so many. And then this last deal, it kind of spans from here all the way to here, down inside here. There's some more there. And then these boxes here. And I honestly didn't know what he was going to price this stuff at, but... Um, a hundred kind of shocked me. So I paid a little bit more for it. Uh, so total we're into this whole deal, like 400 bucks, I think plus, plus 10 for the trunk. I've spent some time researching some of this currency because this is something I've never really gotten into personally. Uh, and man, this stuff is pretty fascinating. These, uh, graded coins are really cool and they're actually easy to comp out because they have the grade on them. So you can kind of compare it to others of that same grade. But just kind of quickly looking through some of these, uh, I think most of these comp out around 15 or 20 bucks a piece. But this one right here, this uh, Susan B. Anthony dollar, graded 70. This one seems to have some really good comps, like over $100. So that's that's pretty crazy to me right there. Uh, Jim, uncirculated $66 bill. It's been kind of fun looking through these bills to try to figure out why they were put aside. So we have some older Red Seal $2 bills. There's a first day issue $2 bill. Uh, some more red seals. There's a star note $2 bill from 1953. There's a 1928 red seal $2 bill. There's a 2013 star note uh, with the B. Apparently these were duplicate serial numbers. Um, so these have a little bit of escalated value, some more than others, but that was pretty interesting to learn about. And then there's some more star notes from 2013 and some silver certificates. There's a star note silver certificate right there. Some more older star notes where the condition's not as good. Yeah, very cool. No clue what in, any of this stuff's gonna sell for, but it's definitely gonna sell for more than face value. And it's it's been a lot of fun to learn about. There's a bunch of copper coins. There's like five of these Hercules five ounce coins here. A bunch of these Zombucks, uh, the currency of the apocalypse. Those are all one ounce coins, pretty neat. A bunch of Indian head pennies from the later 1800s to the early 1900s. Some mercury dimes from the mid 1900s, some buffalo nickels from all different years, and then some other various random things. There's a bunch more comic books, like a large run of these Hulk comics. Um, some are 15 cents, some are 20 cents, but there's a lot that go in order too. So if nothing else, if the condition's not that great on them, I can sell them like in runs. But there's tons of older Incredible Hulks in here. And then we got some more stuff up here, like the whole run of Iceman. There's some Dracula stuff. Um, there's some Swamp Thing in here. All pretty early. More than I could ever go through right now. A bunch more modern stuff in here that I'll get to last. Random collectibles like the Adam West 
and uh, Burt Ward picture right there. Sealed Presto Magic stuff from uh, 1980. Some of these do surprisingly well. Some old transferred bonds. Thought those were pretty cool myself. And then just tons more toys as well. Uh, just di different action figures from all different years. Um, some of them are more modern, some of them are older. Lots of uh, Marvel and superhero stuff. Haven't really comped much of this stuff out, but there's but there's just so much of it. It's It's pretty crazy. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching And they all look at me I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap